Hey everyone, it's Cody and thank you so much for joining me again today on my channel of Living and Living Well. Today I want to discuss three natural holistic ways to help permanently get rid of your acne. What I really love about these three methods is that they're actually really simple to do, but they're really effective. A lot of them have been used for hundreds of years. One of them has been used all the way back like 350 BC. I mean, it's been around for thousands of years and, and they've been notoriously known to help get rid of acne and help your skin complexion naturally. So with these three methods, I'm gonna go over them and go into detail about what to do, why it works, and, and how to get rid of your acne, as well as going over some of like your common causes of acne, um, what may be causing your breakouts, as well as how to help maintain the skin and help to maintain what's going on underneath the skin to prevent future breakouts. So if you're watching this video, I'm guessing that you have acne somewhere that you're trying to get rid of and as we all know they are an inflamed infected pustule on like the face chest or back that often result in a lot of itching and scarring so there are several causes for acne and you may fall under one of these things or a few of these things but i'm just going to go through the list so that you understand best maybe where your acne is coming from of course the most common time for that people have acne is during their growing years like during their teenage years and maybe you're a teen right now who may be experiencing some acne well that's because your pituitary gland is secreting that growth hormone to help you get taller and stronger and everything and because of that it's going to really cause acne to come to your skin so just know that if you're a teen right now who has acne it is kind of a normal thing but just hang on because I've got tips for you on how to help it right now another common cause of acne of course is bad diet when we eat too many fried foods fatty foods sugary foods that really messes with the natural chemistries of our body I actually learned a fact where the sugar that you consume multiplies by five by the time it reaches your skin so everything that you're consuming that's sugary is really gonna reflect in the complexion of your skin and the more sugar that you have in your skin the more bacteria that's gonna grow because bacteria feeds off of sugar acne can also be caused by liver toxicity or malfunction which I talk about a lot in my cellulite video which I'll put that link somewhere over here or over there so that way you can learn some more information on how to cleanse your liver but that could also be causing your acne acne can also be caused by an essential fatty acid deficiency constipation poor digestion of fats and oils allergy causing facial cosmetics impure blood overeating and not getting enough greens in your diet and so these tips come from natural holistic doctors um, they are tried true and tested <laughs> true they are tried true and <laughs> I keep saying true. <laughs> Tried, true, and tested to help get rid of your acne. Tip number three, lemon juice and aloe vera gel. If you are using a generic face wash, hoping that you'll get results to get rid of your acne, I want you to listen up because face washes don't always do what they promise that they're gonna do. Because if your acne gets cured, then they go out of business. So a lot of facial wash businesses put ingredients within their face washes to worsen your acne, to dry out your skin, to make it more oily. So that way you keep coming back and you keep buying their products. What's great about lemon juice and aloe vera is that it's a natural face wash. If your face wash has the following ingredients, it's time to toss it out. Salicylic acid, retinol, alcohol, fragrance, benzyl peroxide, talc, and parabens. Let's just go with something natural like lemon juice and aloe vera gel. What you wanna do is before you go to bed, apply a little bit of lemon juice to each of your zits or aloe vera gel depending on what's gonna sit better with your skin. Sleep with it at night and in the morning make sure to really wash it off. The reason why lemon juice is effective on acne is because it has high levels of antioxidants and normal levels of citric acid which is a form of vitamin C and what this does is it helps kill the bacteria that may be forming your acne. And the high vitamin C content as well as its high magnesium and potassium levels helps with the appearance of skin overall and so this will help just fight that bacterial infection and help reduce the redness and help get rid of that acne but if you use the lemon juice make sure to really thoroughly wash it off in the morning 
Otherwise, if you go out in the sunlight, it can cause a sunburn. Now, aloe vera gel, the, the more natural, the better. If you've got an aloe vera plant, go and grab some and, and put some of this on your acne. If not, you can buy it in like a little bit of like a tube at the store. And what you wanna do is you wanna rub it on the acne because it has an antioxidant effect, an antibacterial effect, and an anti-inflammatory effect. It also helps hydrate the skin without the production of oil, help giving it that nice shine. Aloe vera gel helps with the synthesis of collagen, which helps with skin aging as well as healing those scars. And it also has high zinc levels, which helps shrink the pores. And one more interesting fact about aloe vera gel, because I just love this stuff, is that it has 75 active ingredients to help with skin health. So like aloe vera, if you have an aloe vera plant in your house, that thing right now is like your skin best friend. If I were you, I would try one and the other, not both at the same time, just to see which one works better for your skin type. Tip number two. Now we're gonna talk about diet, of course, because what you may be eating may be also causing your acne. If you have a really bad acne problem, you need to try going without these things for a while to see if it improves. That means no red meat, no soft drinks, no caffeine, no white flour or sugar, no fried food, no candy, and no pasteurized dairy. These foods do not cause acne, they just make your acne worse if you have an acne problem already. The reason is, is because you've got some sort of imbalance in your body, but put simply, these foods break down into glucose or sugar, and when you have that and it reaches your skin, it increases inflammation and increases that bacterial infection, which causes more acne. So getting rid of these foods in your diet will help reduce that inflammation in your body. Also, when you eat these foods, of course, when you have a sugar spike, then you also have an insulin spike. Insulin is kind of like the policeman for sugar. Um, it, it's a hormone that's secreted by the pancreas. And what it does is it helps negate where sugar goes, whether it goes to muscle tissue or fat tissue or to your liver, or it, it kind of directs sugar on where sugar is needed. With a high spike in sugar causing a high spike in insulin, you'll also get a high spike in androgen hormones. And these hormones go on to produce estrogen and testosterone-like hormones. So reduce that sugar that you're consuming and you'll reduce that acne on your face, skin, and everywhere else. These steep insulin spikes, like when you're eating sugar and, and your body puts out a bunch of insulin, can cause more skin oil to be produced, causing more clogging in your pores, making your complexion worse. Chronic inflammation caused by eating sugar also causes damage to your collagen and the elastin in your skin, making your skin age faster, making the skin quality weaken, causing more wrinkles sooner and so reducing all of these foods will help your skin health in the long run as well and my number one tip this tip is really neat because i loved studying something that i knew absolutely nothing about until i really started to dive into acne and like what causes it and how to get rid of it and this little neat natural diamond in the rough is called propolis propolis has been used since before 350 BC. That was the first time it was recorded that it was in use, but it's been used for thousands of years. It's been used for, by um, the medicinal world. He's really renowned for his, his discoveries with medicine, and he helped heal wounds and scars with propolis. Propolis was also used by the Egyptian pharaoh Cleopatra, Cleopatra as part of her skincare routine, which made her known to be a really gorgeous, beautiful Egyptian pharaoh. So using propolis has both of its history and its reputation that it's a really effective way to help cure your skin conditions. And you'll never believe where it comes from, I was shocked to learn what propolis was exactly, but basically it comes from the sap of tree buds. It's a sticky green substance that bees use to put on the outside of the hive to help hold it together, as well as to be a natural disinfectant against bacteria and everything. And they also use it to help create little sterile cells for the baby bees. So it's a natural disinfectant found in the world that has a long history of being really effective for the skin. What propolis does is that it's a natural antibacterial, a natural antifungal, antiviral, and it helps with the new cell growth of the skin, helping heal those scars. In the last tip, we talked about what happens when you have a spike in sugar, which causes a spike in bacteria growth, and so this would help 
get rid of all of that bacteria in your skin right now. In my search about propolis, I found this quote from the owner and founder of Therapy Honey Skin Care, and this is why she mentions that propolis is really effective. Her name is Tanya Hawks, and she says, to truly understand what a powerful compound propolis is, you have to look at the plant world. Propolis comes from the giants in the plant kingdom, trees. And trees have evolved to live thousands of years. But in order to do this, they have to survive all environmental aggressors, viral, bacterial, pollution, insects, etc. To withstand all of this, trees have created a strong immunity of plant phenyl chemicals and bioflavonoids to defend themselves. Bees then piggyback off the tree's powerful immune systems. They harvest the immunity-boosting tree secretions like sap and resin and add enzymes through their body processes as well as plant and beeswax to produce an end product that is antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal, anti-inflammatory, and an antioxidant. The end result is propolis. Take it from Mother Nature that this is a really effective way to cleanse the skin. Plus, it's like really neat and amazing and wonderful what's just naturally found in the world that people have been using forever and ever to help heal their body. I just want to explain real quick that I do believe that modern science has its place. I think modern science has created amazing ways to help save people's lives, but there's just been effective ways that have worked for a long, long time in getting rid of acne, and these are those three ways. So as a recap, today we covered about how propolis can help get rid of the acne and help be a disinfectant for your face. We covered how you need to avoid acidic, sugary, inflammatory, acidic, sugary, inflammation-causing foods such as meat and flour and sugar, etc. And then we also talked about the ways that lemon juice and aloe vera gel can naturally help your skin as well. Become that mad scientist about your skincare. Mad scientists are obsessed with their work. They're obsessed with figuring out the answer. Take one of these tips and try it for a week or two. See if it works. If it doesn't, try another one. Put down in the comments below what's working, what results you're seeing, and just to give me some feedback on this video in general about what you liked and, and what you're going to try and see if it can help get rid of your acne. I'm a total nerd about all things science. I mean, that's why I got my degree in sports and exercise science because I love learning about chemistry and biology and understanding how the body works with our environments and the things that we're eating because all of it works together in just uh, in such a beautiful way. And for me, it just testifies that God lives and that he loves us and he exists because all of the complexities of life and the way that our bodies function, I mean, for me, it's a huge testament that that he he created us. And so that's why I just, I love it. Of course, as always, please like the video um, if you really enjoyed this information and want me to put out more information like this in the future. Subscribe to this video so that you can always get notifications about different tips and tricks on how to help a variety of conditions that are happening with the body and to learn more of what's going on underneath the skin to help give you that body wisdom to help you heal overall. And of course, share this video with a friend. It may be awkward to approach somebody like, hey, you've got acne, here's a tip. But if you, you and your friends are talking about your skin one day and its health and how to help treat it, or when your friends start seeing the amazing results in your skin, then share this video with them so that they understand what methods may work for them as well and why they work and how they work and what to do in order to help the complexion of their skin. Remember to not only be living, but to be living well. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to these tips. I hope you have a wonderful day today and I will see you next time.